What the? This guy. What's up and good evening, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a long-awaited video. Uh, what, Chris? What'd you find? What? what? You just kicking stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. One ten for sale. You selling your one ten? Selling my one ten. All right. How much? Uh, Fifteen G's. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So we have made it back from Utah with the 450. And now obviously, I, I mean, I fell in love with this truck when I was out in Utah and there's gonna be a 450 in my future at some point in my life. But, oh, uh, yeah, I've been doing some American picking. Yeah, I was doing some furniture picking in the alley back there. <laughs> Listen, guy, fuel's expensive, rent's expensive. You know, I gotta start flipping furniture nowadays to be able to pay for things around here. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, as much as I love this 450, we built this thing for Papa Rhino. At this point in my life, I wanted to get back to my parents. So we built the Tahoe for Mama Rhino a couple years ago. And uh, unfortunately, Papa Rhino had to sell his Kodiak because, well, California. We have spent the last couple of months, you know, over here. And by we, uh, that man right there has been busting his butt getting this thing ready. Uh, I just foot the bills and, and sign the checks and uh, look pretty. <laughs> eh, eh, debatable. Uh, so, we got this thing back, again, from Utah. Um, had an awesome trip, you know, it took some getting used to, having a solid actual truck with air right in the front. There's a couple little tweaks that we have to make. Um, at some point, the steering wheel got just a hair off of center, so we gotta figure out why that happened. And then, I started messing with the air ride controls and I totally jacked everything up, so we need Zach to, to refix that. And once we get all that dialed in, it will be time to give this truck to Paparano, who has not seen this thing finished. I mean, maybe he's seen a video or two but he has not seen this thing in person to see how big it is. And I'm very excited to give this to him. Um, I know a lot of you guys were concerned thinking, well, this thing's not a work truck anymore. You just ruined it. Papa Rhino's not gonna be able to use it. I always have a plan. And we already knew going into this that Papa Rhino wasn't gonna wanna load stuff in the bed of this truck, which, you know, I wouldn't wanna load it even at stock height. You don't wanna tear the truck up. That's where this comes into play. So not only did we build that for him, I also purchased this that I'm gonna be, you know, it's probably gonna be hooked to Papa Rhino's truck more than it is to my trucks. But this was my plan right here to account for the fact that nobody's gonna wanna put stuff in the bed up there anymore. Plus, now we can haul a bunch more. And this thing actually did amazing hauling this back. I mean, granted, it's only a 4,500 pound trailer when it's empty, but obviously the 450, I think loaded, will be just fine. Zach is fueling up. Jeez, oh, guy, he... <laughs> we gotta get that sugar rush going or what? All right, all right. Ooh. Oh, gee, and then there's this guy. <laughs> Somebody's got to supervise. You weren't there in Utah and I, I messed the truck up. Someone starts work at like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, some of us don't go to bed till 3 a.m. That's not my problem. Multiple days. What the, bro, are you, are you drunk? A little bit. Oh. So, Zach? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we gotta find out what Ryan did here. Why the steering's a hair off? It could be that the like the truck's not sitting level. I think it's sitting pretty level, but uh, it, no, it was level. Mm -hmm. All right, see, I did a good job getting it level. I got the steering wheel back to pretty much straight just by playing with the air ride itself. Um, we checked up underneath while we were in uh, Utah, and shout out to the guys that were Graco Customs because you know they are mechanics. I am not. We looked over this together, and basically everything looked tight. So. We don't think anything really moved down here. There's just a, I don't know. We gotta figure out something. Let's we'll see if we can see the steering wheel. Are the wheels straight right now? They are straight, so. Is the truck unlocked though? All right. Actually, the truck's, <laughs> steering wheel's looking decent right now. But if you guys know, like sometimes there's a little bit of slop, so it takes to about there to move the steering wheel. So really when we were driving back from Utah, the steering wheel was about there when we were going straight. So right now, Zach is going around and making sure everything is nice and level. Um, it's kind of one of those games, you go off the airbags, you go off some measurements on the airbags, and then you also just got to kind of stand back and take a look at it. Um, so one of the things we measure on the fronts is we'll measure like from the bottom of that bracket to about the top right there. And that'll make sure side to side we're equal. But the front bags are different sizes than the rear bags. You can't pull that measurement, obviously, to get the rear the same. We pull separately from there, and then you just kind of stand back and you see if the rear looks level to the front or not. Yeah, so these are the ride height sensors, and basically you can see as his arm goes up and down, it just turns this little sensor right here and that tells the truck where the height is. And it's all based on us telling it what is level and then from there it saves that preset. Well, when the bracket that attaches it moves like this, you can see uh, there's a lot of play there in that sensor. So that might've been one of the issues. 
while we were out. Um, it's the only thing that I've seen that was loose out of anything. All the steering seems fine. And if the truck's not level, the steering wheel's gonna do weird stuff. So that could be it. That could be the only reason that the steering wheel was just a hair off center on the drive home. Right, we're, we're over here sizing up Zach's overpriced tape measure. It sucks. How much, that tape measure? How much was that tape measure, Zach? $20. That was it? 20 bucks? Lifetime warranty. It's not a deal. Yeah, but you want to carry one of these around all day? It's freaking, we don't need a metal casing. This thing's heavy. Chris, we're not strong enough for this. No. Zach's got that mechanic strength. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's got this mechanic strength in that body somewhere. It's like an axis deer. It's like really lightning, and then that's it. <laughs> you give it to your dad dirty? No, man, we're going to clean it tomorrow. You going to help? You're going to clean it tomorrow? Yeah, you going to come help? I don't have time. I got a lot of running around to do. We got SEMA to go to. We got to run SEMA errands like crazy tomorrow, so. Zach got everything dialed in. Oh, there's Zach. Zach. <laughs> Zach. Zach. Are you ready to build the Bronco? You could say no. You know. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Why not? So, tomorrow we're gonna be giving the Bronco. Not the Bronco cheese. I can't even think right now. But tomorrow we're gonna be giving the 450 Papa Rhino. This is exciting. We're gonna wait till Zach's off work. So we can both hear him complain or whatever's about to happen in this video. It is done. Oh, okay. Yep. You ain't getting no more. <laughs> We're gonna get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow, which will be a, uh, uh, we're filming two videos tomorrow. So get ready. Goodbye. Well, today is the big day. I've been in Papa Rhino's truck all day doing a million and one SEMA freaking errands. And uh, well, I always tell you guys, work before play. Let's try to not get hit by a car. And uh, we're over here with Dave back at Maddie, the restaurant that we built a while back. I'll show you guys this thing finished. And look at that truck. Look how good that thing freaking looks. I almost couldn't park there because the trees weren't tall enough to park underneath it. Check this place out. This place has been open and doing great, absolutely crushing it. And well, here is what she looks like finished. Mine is Dave's art piece, which is gonna go right here. He's not done with that yet, but... Dave? Rhino? Dave? Rhino T-Max? Dave? No way! Dave. Dave! Three points of contact, Dave. Make sure you're good. Okay, you're good. Dave? Dave? Dave, dude, I'm I'm just one of your biggest fans. <laughs> Dave, hold on, we're on a tight we're on a tight schedule, right? I've seen all. Uh, he's gonna keep going. Videos. We're on a tight schedule, Dave. But we I gotta mean, show show your handstand on camera. I am. Show your handstand on camera. Big, big fan. So I just found out the other day, Dave can handstand like I think Dave just found out the other day. He can handstand. That's kind of true. <laughs> while Dave goes, do you need your your go get your your, yeah, like your pillow? Okay. Yeah, pillow. All right. So while Dave's doing that, so obviously you guys can see the restaurant is all finished and looking freaking beautiful. This side's a mess right now because we just moved a bunch of stuff, but that's what it looks like all nice and finished over there. Um, again, they've been doing freaking awesome, but one of the complaints in this place is it's too echoey and too loud. So you'll see right here, we're currently hanging acoustical panels from the ceiling and hopefully that'll stop the sound from bouncing all kinds of around. There's a, a ton of them to hang. We really only got time today to do two because, well, I scheduled up giving this truck back to Papa Rhino. So we're going to do that. But first we gotta show Dave do a handstand. And yes, Dave is working shirtless in sandals. But don't worry, where's his knee pads? <laughs> now his handstand, he also considers dancing. Let's just throw that out there. Okay, so he's, got, so he's gotta get his music right, even though I'm gonna talk over the music. It's just for him to hear. I know. Okay. Oh, 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 yep, yep, oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. Don't mind me, I have to talk over this, guys, or we, uh, you know, get demonetized. Look at this guy. Oh, oh, we with the sandal kick, with the sandal kick. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Dang, son, dang, son. Oh, 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 he's doing tricks, he's doing tricks. Which way is he going now? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if you have never been on the channel before and you came to this video, uh, you, you, this is Dave, this is Dave. Mark Dave, we got uh, two battles up today. <laughs> Alrighty, let's hop up in this beast. Oh, let's not get our door taken off. I'm surprised I found parking for this thing in this neighborhood. This is not a big truck friendly neighborhood. I'm excited for this, guys. I know Papa Rhino's excited. I mean, he's been missing his truck, stock, lifted, whatever. He's just been missing having his truck. I will say, the one thing this truck needs very badly is uh, tinted windows, because these are, <laughs> the sun is brutal right now. I just had to go looking hard for the button to close the uh, panoramic roof here. I don't think I've ever done it on this thing, so right there, let's see. Push it once, it goes halfway. Push again, it goes all the way. Get a little bit of the sun off me. Not that that really did much. I gotta say guys, I am going to miss driving this truck. It's a whole completely different experience from any truck I've ever driven being solid axle um, and air ride in the front. And it takes a little bit of getting used to, but this thing is just massive. And even though there's like some bumps here because of the setup in the front, it being a dually and being so wide in the back, like this truck just feels solid. 
Now, while I can't say Paparano is much better than me when it comes to leaving trash in vehicles, we, we'll take all my, my stuff out of here from our trip to Utah. Um, he is worse than me when it comes to leaving plastic on, though. He leaves the plastic on the floor mats. That's next level. I know I leave it on the seats, but the floor mats is next level. Oh, what's up, boys? You ready? You ready to finally be done with this thing? Now, those of you that have seen Paparano on the channel, you know, uh, I don't know. He's got his moments. I don't know how this reaction is going to be. Guys, what do you think? He's going to be really quiet. He's probably going to start talking shit. I feel like there's going to be a lot of crap talking. Yeah. yeah I feel like 90% of that's going to be towards me. <laughs> yeah. And why didn't you, why'd you make Zach do that? Or yeah, something. All right, guys. Mama rano has been keeping us tabs. She's driving him over here. Oh, you, hey. re you ready? Always ready. All right. That's uh. Take it to the casino? No, no. Men are always ready. You know that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> boys. Not going to lie. I've never seen you with a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good hat. Where do you get the hat? Uh, work for it. Apparel.com. Apparel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, work we tried. Apparel.com. All right, well, let, let's show you the let's show you the first new addition to our fleet. You you have not seen a new trailer. No, oh, he's not even. He's distracted over there. Jeez, this guy. Oh, look, we already we already started water bottles on the trailer. That's sweet. It's sick, huh? Yeah. Whoa. Nice, huh? Is it good at this way? Yeah, they say that's way stronger with the telescoping. Uh... You need money, bro. Oh, no, 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 you always need money. Don't, don't worry about it. All right, so this is how we're alleviating, you know, having to put stuff in the bed of the truck. Chris put stuff in the way here, but I think he wants to show you his bike. Check it out, bro. This might come with it. Holy shit. Too much power for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. That means there's not enough power. I got you this. So easy. That's my force scrubber, man. Jeez, guy. I'm trying to give away the force scrubber. You ready to see this thing? It's been Let's see. six months. Easy six months. All right. Zach. It oh. has not been six months. It's been six months. It Zach. has not been six months. Zach shaved his beard and it grew six back. Six All right. Okay. Well, I really want to come out here. No, I mean, no. Uh, hopefully. Let's see what we got going. Holy macro, man. That's sick. Now that's a big dog. You like it? So yeah. the, is that the right size? I know you wanted a 20 inch lift. We dialed you down just a little bit. Oh, that's loud. I mean, you gotta be able to get in it. Oh, I can get in them. Okay. Had all these years with the Kodiak. All right. You, you, Kodiak had a step that like started right there. Are we all the way up? We're all the way up. That's all the way up. Is, is that enough? No. Holy. Let, let me get a hold of Zach. Zach, uh, that ain't high enough, Zach. Hey, I didn't order the parts on this. What do you think? What do you think? The tailgate height gonna work for you? Oh yeah. That ain't nothing. Look at that. Now you got a workbench for uh, your plans. Plans table. It's the right height. Comes with a toolbox. Hmm. Well, we cleared all your tools out of it, and we got to put those back in tonight. Oh yeah, where is all my stuff? Zach. <laughs> We sold it. We had to pay for truck parts. We had to sell your stuff. Give it a walk around. What do you think? You like the wheels? We, we kept it polished. You wanted polish. You didn't want black. Yeah, yeah, no polish looks he, better, he, I think, on this. He kept trying to powder coat him, and I'm like, no. We got to do just like the Kodiak. Yeah, it got to be old man style there with the polished. Hey, hey, hey. You got to keep them clean, though. Hey, 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 easy with the old yeah. man and polish thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Old man and Zach like yeah. polished. Yeah. yeah. Zach's old. Zach is old. She's got a couple of bugs from Utah, but, you know, we'll, we'll worry about that later. We'll, we'll get it clean. Dennis is detailing. They'll get it all detailed for you. Oh, I like it. Oh, let's see. Oh, there. Well, we'll get it. We'll look, he's already getting a thumbnail. We'll get a thumbnail in a second. Uh, can you get in with it all the way up? It'll come down. This isn't ride height. Ride height's a couple inches lower. All right. Oh, all right. There we go. Oh, there. Hey! Let's go, guys. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can drive. It's yours. You can drive. You sure? And nobody, well, nobody going with you, but That's you can drive. It's <laughs> like being up that high again. It's been a while. Yeah. That's taller than the Kodiak. You think so? You're sitting taller than the Kodiak. You're definitely sitting taller than the Kodiak. Yeah. The Kodiak, I was even with semis. So. Yeah, you're there. Oh, get down here. Huh? Break an ankle or something. <laughs> Pop a knee. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a long step right there. Get, get, get down. Like, that's here. almost three feet. All the problems. Hey, remember, remember when I was talking about the hip thing? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that, did you? All right, let's see. I mean, hop on down. He's trying to figure oh. out how to do it. There you go. Oh! Oh, 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 oh shit! Dang. What's wrong with that? All right. Well, here. Let's lower you back down here. Let's get you to ride height, and we'll let you take this thing for a spin. Oh, shoot, I need the key. Well, jump in, let's go take it for a spin, you know. Come on in, boys, we gotta make a little room back here. We gotta, hold on, we should probably pull out some shocks first. Yeah. 
Eh, sit on top of them. Is it staying here? What? No, this is yours. I gotta just pull my shocks out. We, we, we can't we show those on the shocks. channel. Shocks. We got shocks. Uh, just, Bags. Uh, look, I gotta use some Pepto Bismol okay, you know, in case you your tummy you gets. Oh, I forgot about that. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we haven't really cleaned it out since Utah. Somebody decided to build a SEMA build last second. Yeah. I got some battery charger. I mean, you haven't driven this thing in forever. You remember how to drive this thing? It's probably good you forgot because it's a whole lot different. <laughs> oh, yeah, you gotta raise your seat up to the ceiling because you, you like to yeah. hit your head on the ceiling. Like to lick the windshield. <laughs> sure, uh, you can see out of your mirrors. You always want to see those back tires because we don't want to curb these wheels. Laying back like tiny and sucking the uh, that exhaust. Way. I was gonna say we probably should we should just stop where, stop wherever that's going. We got to keep it YouTube friendly, but all right, that works. All right, can you see your, your rear tires there out your mirrors? Yeah. All right, just make sure we don't clip curbs. That's all. That's all we care about. Those wheels are expensive. Let's not clip curbs. Can we turn tighter? Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. She doesn't rub. I think you guys did a good job. Hey, oh, geez, where are we going? 100 miles an hour? Jeez, we got to get our. Oh, that was, that was your test. Yeah, yeah, well, that, we, we passed that test. We're getting our seatbelts on. All right, so it's going to have some bump steer. You're going to feel bumps in the road in the steering. It's just kind of the nature of a solid axle air ride truck. Shouldn't notice really any power difference. She still feels good. I don't even know what gears this is, but it's got a real low. Uh, uh, I want to say this truck probably had four point six. Comes comes with a California compliance. Zach, right. I think you need this. Hey, compliance. you're the sickest one here, dog. I, I know I am. Baddest son of a gun, big dog. Oh, he's back. And big dog's back now. All right, we're back up in a big truck. I had to be little dog there for a while. You know, if you want to be a big dog, you got to piss like a big dog. There you go. Jeez, oh, guy. Jeez, guy. She still got it. All right, all right. How did it do with the trailer? You didn't even feel it. Couldn't even feel it. We also got to talk. You got us in trouble. Apparently, you were driving the Tahoe. It says work for it on the side, and you were pissing some people off because I got a bad Google review that said whoever drives a Tahoe with the work for it on the side needs to learn how to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't talk to nobody. Well, apparently, you're pissing somebody off on the road. You're the only one that's been driving it. Ryan was like, what? I'm like, dude, your dad is pissing. He's like, oh, that's right. Dad has been driving the Tahoe. <laughs> Cause they were saying something about the guy in the work Ford SUV. Yep. <laughs> That's why we don't put our name on side of vehicles. Oh, we gotta get one on here. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. I want a custom made sticker, big dog. All right, watch these cars. Watch these cars. It's getting narrow up here. We see them. All right. Dang, the sun's still out. What? What the? What are you mad at the drivers already? Look at them. Yeah. We gonna start yelling at people already? Easy, tiny. You're a hater. <laughs> Oh, oh, watch out, watch out. Don't, don't, don't hit grandpa, don't hit grandpa. Wide, wide truck, wide truck. Wide truck. Wide load, wide, wide load. load. Uh, they're all looking. Oh yeah. Yeah, this, this thing does that. <laughs> it gets a lot, it gets more attention than my Denali does yeah, going down the road. It is big. Oh, well, we gotta watch the trees, watch the trees. We're tall. So, Sergio, we gotta go Sergio. Let's go, we, go to Sergio. we gotta go Sergio. We gotta get some, uh, some work lights put on it. Uh, we need to get it tinted. It, it sucks being in here with no tint. He's definitely going to want yeah. a, a brighter reverse lights. Oh, we need that too, Zach? Yeah, yeah, let's just deck it out. It's really wide and you can't really see the tires. You get to go back to work, honey. Zach's, Zach's going to teach you how to use the air ride there. Dang, dog, you barely got out of this thing. Say so you want to go down. Push it. Zach, holy shit, now my ass is rubbing the curb, Zach. If you wanted to, you know, load it, you could just like, that's like all the way aired out. You can get out and check where the tailgate is now on your truck if you ever need to put something in. Right there, I'll go to right eye. No, no, I mean, when it, before. Yeah, remember, remember, we were all the way up, we are about to here. Now all the way down, so you know, it's a manageable height. There's ride height. That's just ride height. All right, Zach's lower the rear. This is what you're going to be doing if you're going to be loading tools and materials and stuff. You know, you squatter. Oh, oh no, that's ready for the drag at uh, Fogs. Oh, oh you're going to do some, some drag racing like that? Yeah, just like that, right there. Okay, okay. I got all that trucking in it better than you. Fucking wounded goat. <laughs> hey, you, you're younger than me. Holy. Yeah. All right, we just did some testing. We got the steering wheel back to all nice and dialed. Great job, Zachariah. Uh, now we got a load of ball of tools. Oh, geez, compressor's kicking on. We got a, got a load of ball of Paparano's tools here. Now, everybody said you're not going to be able to use this for a work truck anymore. What do you think? Oh, no, no, no. They got a lot to learn. Just watch. <laughs> I got plans. Watch. I have plans, not excuses. There you go. There. All right. 
<laughs> plan's not an excuse. Okay, y'all, well, it is getting a little too dark outside there to uh, continue filming on the GoPro, so we're gonna wrap up this video. I am very, very blessed to be in a position to be able to give back to my parents. A couple years ago, we built a Tahoe for my mom, and then this year being able to do the F450 for my dad. And I gotta thank you guys for it. You guys, you know, giving me this platform really helps to do things like this, and I'm super, super stoked to be able to give back this year. Um, we've always been building stuff for myself, so it's, it's a lot more fun when you build stuff for other people. Speaking of other people, gotta give a huge shout out to some of the companies that jumped on board. A huge thank you to American Force Wheels, a huge thank you to the guys over at Custom Offsets, a huge thank you to the guys over at Kelderman, Supreme Retros, um, obviously Zach for putting in all the late nights and getting this thing done. Um, this thing was a mission and a half. I'm glad to see it out of the shop so we got some room here, but also sad to see it go because I'm going to very much miss that truck. But with that guys, we are going to wrap up as always. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you're not miss out on any future content. And don't forget to give this video a like, okay, a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.